Hey, once this will be an unboxing of the brand new 10th gen iPad or the iPad 10 uh, base model here. Uh, this is also 2022 iPad. Uh, this is the 64 gigabyte version in blue. That blue looks really cool. Uh, this here in the US is now 450 bucks, uh, which is quite expensive. This is really no longer a budget tablet. Uh, not that at $330 it was either. Uh, but it's gone up in price by about $120 here in the U.S. at least. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get on into this. I took off the back tabs earlier before starting the video. That's why mine came off so easy. Alright, so we still do get a charger. They have now switched over to USB Type-C from the lightning cable. And then you get a nice charger that is 20 watts just like with the last gen of course we have all of our paperwork in here all right then the brand new ipad which they have completely changed up from the way it looked last year now it looks more like an ipad air which I don't know how I feel about. Uh, this is quite blue. Like that is, that is a nice color though. All uh, right, let's look at the back here real fast. They added in an LED flash for your camera finally. Um, let's see how good that camera is. Last gen's camera wasn't too bad. So we have your little keyboard adapter there. We have two speakers here and a power button. We have volume rocker. And then we have two more speakers. I'm gonna guess uh, only one on each side works. Apparently just turned it on. Uh, so I'm gonna guess it's just stereo. One, one of these two and one of those two probably work. Uh, I'm gonna guess now four of them work. Uh, then we have a USB type C charge port there. Alright, I went ahead and plugged it in. I did not mean to turn it on earlier. Uh, I plugged it in. Go ahead and we'll set this guy on up here. So, English. Uh, I'm in the US. So you do a quick start. We're going to do it up manually. We'll just do it manual. Uh, connect to your Wi-Fi. Right, then came data and privacy. Uh, then we have Touch ID if you want to set that up. So now it will be using the power button here. Uh, I am not going to do so, uh, but you guys can if you want to. I never set passwords on my iPads or tablets. Then next comes a passcode again if you want to use it, go ahead. Then we have our apps and data, so you can restore it if you want to from a Mac or PC, iCloud data, uh, transfer it from a different iPad if you have another iPad, uh, move data actually from Android or don't transfer it at all. And then we have your Apple ID, so we have to sign in with this. Alright, then it will, once you sign in, you have your two-factor identification. Uh, so if you have another iPad or have a MacBook or something, uh, it will send it to those. Then you just have to hit allow on the other one. Then I have terms and conditions, you have to accept. And then it will take some time to set up your device, it usually takes a few minutes. Again, if you're going from a, a different iPad to this one, uh, you can go ahead and kind of set it up from your other iPad uh, if you want to. I'll show you everything you hit on there. Next comes Siri. I'm going to say set up later. And then welcome to iPad. All right. So we have a whole bunch of apps here. Nice thing about Apple. Uh, that is fine. Uh, nice thing about Apple is you can delete basically all of these. Uh, compared to like Amazon Fire devices, they cannot delete anything on. Uh, every single thing on here, I can delete. Uh, except for, well, when you go into that even. Uh, so you can delete everything if you wanted to. You don't have to have any other, what is called, bloatware. Uh, I know a lot of these are actually useful. You can even, even delete the App Store if you wanted to. Or the camera. Uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, but you can delete anything you want. 
uh, and I will delete stuff uh, that I do not use personally just to free up some space. Again, this has 64 gigabytes of storage, uh, which of course will be less. All right, so looking into it, it actually has about 50 gigabytes of storage free. Uh, so delete stuff, you'll have a bit more space here. Uh, let's just do a quick comparison just by the way they look between this one and the 9th gen. All right, so side by side, the brand new one, the 2021 or the 9th gen on the left there. See the old one's actually a little bit bigger, a little bit taller, but this actually is 10.2 inch. This is 10.9 inch. Uh, to me, both these still look good. I still really like the way this iPad looks, even though it is just say outdated. Uh, I still really like the way it looks, uh, especially with the little button. Uh, that's probably my favorite feature about the old one. Uh, but they're about the same physical size, but again, 10.2, 10.9 inch. So this is actually a bit smaller in si physical size, but the screen is bigger, uh, which is the magic of getting rid of bezels. Uh, and we'll take a quick look here, hopefully without hitting the camera. And of course the one is charging, so it's a bit harder to do this. Uh, but you also had your jack right here, headphone jack. The new one does not have that anymore. Again, this has lightning adapter and only two speakers, uh, both on the bottom, where this now has the USB Type-C. And then I'm assuming it's just still two speakers, but one on each side, uh, which is what I said I did not like about this old one. Uh, which is nice having two speakers, one on either side, or four speakers. And then you did have your, what's called those prongs, or your spot here for the keyboard. The new one also has that as well, which is a little bit different. I'm flipping these two over. Sorry, I hit the camera. All right, I know my lighting is not 100% the best, uh, but you guys can see there's decent difference in look on the back, especially the camera. New one has a bump on it, the old one did not. New one also has the LED, uh, old one did not. Uh, so I wanted to see how those look in actual camera use, uh, how good those cameras are. Uh, otherwise, they look pretty similar. I really do like this blue. You guys cannot see it in this video, but this blue is quite nice. Almost bought the yellow, but decided to go with the blue. All right, so there is the unboxing and setup of the new 10th gen iPad. Uh, we'll have to see how these two compare. Of course, we'll be making, video, uh, be making a bunch of videos on this new one. But to see if it's actually worth that $120 increase here in the U.S. Uh, 330 bucks was not cheap. $450 is really not cheap. Uh, still cheaper than an Air, uh, but of course it's not, not going to be quite as good as the Air is either. Uh, you guys let me know what you think of this new one. It does look nice, I will say. Uh, but I think I'm going to miss the button. Thank you guys very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come. As always, I really do appreciate y'all. Hope you have a good one. See you next time. Goodbye.